Welcome to this amazing adventure. In this video, we go exploring a boulder cave at South Bald Rocks. I visited this amazing place previously in search of this actual cave, but couldn't find it. Thankfully, as we were in no way, shape or form prepared for what we would face at that time. There's a couple of ways to get there which can be found with a quick Google search. But we ended up taking the interesting way in from Mount Norman Road, which required a bit of four-wheel driving. Once there, it's about a five to five and a half kilometre hike to get to South Bald Rock. And this is where the adventure begins. We're back out at South Bald Rock, and we're going to be doing exploring the cave that's out here. So this time I have a guide, Tim. He's going to, uh, he's been here uh, before and he knows exactly where the cave is, where it starts. So, I'm going to give that a go. I absolutely love this place out here, just because it's so isolated, yet has so much character. You're walking on acres of this solid granite that's been here for, well, a really long time. I find it almost a spiritual experience. So, Mount Barney over there, hopefully my finger's pointing in the right direction, and Mount Lindsay to the right of that. All the way over there. Now, this is going to be interesting coming down here. Once you climb up and over all this granite, you'll go down into this gully. This is the beginning of the cave section. It involves a bit of boulder hopping to get to the entrance. And beware, some of the boulders will move, so be careful. Pretty amazing. get my fatness through there. Oh. I'm going to do the, the rotate oh. and shuffle down. This was the beginning of a lot of scratches and scrapes and some increasing oh. levels of discomfort. There's also going to be a few sections oh. here where you'll need to pass your bags okay. through to your fellow adventurers because quite honestly you won't fit otherwise. Ah, oh. man. Okay. Yep. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 
Oh yeah, no, that's that's a little. Yeah, it just goes right, right. That's a little. It's just like about a meter. Oh yeah, hand out there. Uh, and then just foot onto that. Right there. <laughs> this is one of those trips where I'm just going to go on and on and on about my TX4 approach shoes, just because they're amazing. And in this sort of terrain, you really want shoes that grip well, as a slip here could really knock you about a bit. Yeah. Pretty amazing board, so. Oh, I know, isn't it? <laughs> Try and get me through here with my backpack on. Sorry? <laughs> it's just, don't worry, don't mind me. <laughs> and of course my oversized backpack got caught on pretty much everything in here, causing all sorts of noises to emanate from my direction. You good? Just don't get too far away, Tim. I need you to be able to unstick me if I get stuck. Yeah. I struggled to bend my way around it without a backpack on. So, what? <laughs> yeah, so just come straight in. Yeah. And then you just got to do a bit of a bridge maneuver onto this rock here. Oh, man. Trust me, Andrew, you don't want to go the other way. Okay, okay, okay. Can you bend like a pretzel? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Trust, Kristen. Trust. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Woo wow. This is interesting. <sighs> wow. Just wow. <laughs> I thought it was awkward. Yeah. Oh, man. We're going down? Yeah, you're gonna come this way. Gonna get backwards. Down there. Okay. Feel free to progress. Yeah, there's all ground there. There's no big holes. All right. Now, yeah, if you can back through there, you're laughing. If you can get your feet high enough to lift them through there. Oh wow, this is amazing. <laughs> oh 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is flipping Andy territory here. <laughs> yeah. Can you go down? Yeah. Like in here. Oh, yep. We decided to send the smallest and fittest of our crew to scout ahead for the correct route, as there were many ways we could have gone down here, and some were dead ends. <laughs> Did they say which way they went? No. Hey guys, which way did you go? They're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how in the... <laughs> Straight through. There's no big holes around it. Have fun, Andrew. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how the hell am I going to get through this? On your belly. Okay, I'm going to have to go like a serpent. Pretty much. Just, Just slide it over. Oh, it's like my pants hold. Yeah, well. Earlier on in the day, the button popped off my shorts, requiring me to improvise a way to keep my oh. pants up. Thankfully, I had a roll of duct tape in my bag, which did the job. But I was expecting critical pants retention failure at any moment. This is crazy. It's oh, fantastic. Got to drop down here on the gravel. This adventure is also really good to do on a hot day, as it's quite cool down in here. If you do try it though, it might be a good idea to bring a jumper or a flannel shirt or something. Okay. You'll also be doing various bridging moves in the darkness, and as seen, crawling on your belly to get through some tight sections. So I recommend not watching videos of caving disasters as they have a way of popping back into your head at some very inopportune times on this trip. Thank you. Sideways, you say, hey? Oh, ah, skin is missing from my left knee now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Team, this way is so much easier. Trick jar. Trying to get me better. Oh, Andy. Oh, Andy. Pia. Sorry, mate. So, I'm climbing there be light and there was light and then Kristen said thank goodness <laughs> <laughs> and then Andy said check out my TX4s <laughs> <laughs> oh we got through the jumble yep mm -hmm. that, that big does 700 <laughs> meters include the back yeah <laughs> it's 700 meters as the crow flies <laughs> not as the cable so flies. here's a good way guys if you just get your lunge up here this looks solid um, and we all know we all know that rocks that look solid are always going to be solid <laughs> get a hold of that and up we go where are you down there we're not going this way No, I don't want to. <laughs> do you want to do a big jump? No. You have to cross the boys. Oh, wow. Jumping. This section here got me thinking of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Only the, what is it? Only with a leap from the lion's head will he prove his worth. I reckon just grab that side ledge and kind of work your feet across it. I just have that major <laughs> walk across here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, heck. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Oh. It looks interesting in there. Wouldn't want to go in there, but it looks interesting. All right. I think I found a good place for spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> good place for a race. Yeah. <sighs> Which way did you just go? Just come through. You're down there? I see ya. Yep. <laughs> oh, stupid leg. Okay, this is a bag off one. 
Yes, definitely. 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 Yes, They came down here. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Tam. But I didn't go down and explore it. Yeah. Which way did you go? In By this stage, we're almost at the halfway mark of our 700 odd metre adventure through the South Bald Rock Caves. But we still had some more rather interesting sections to overcome, which we will see in the next video.